Drones are unmanned, remotely operated aircraft. Over the past decade, they've played a key role in transforming modern warfare, particularly US combat missions in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Israel also uses them in military operations. In terms of surveillance, drones can be operated 24-7, relaying real-time images of battles on the ground. But some have more specific missions, serving, for example, as a communications relay for troops or as a tool for intercepting enemy messages. Others, like the American Army's Showpiece Reaper, are hunter-killer drones. Measuring 11 meters in length and 4 meters high, the Reaper has a 20-meter wingspan. It's capable of carrying four missiles or two laser-guided bombs and has a range of 1,850 kilometers. The Reaper is operated by two crew members who are often based in the U.S. This style of remotely controlled combat is often criticized. Researchers at U.S. universities Stanford and New York recently highlighted the fear of those living with the constant threat of a deadly strike being fired by a pilot thousands of kilometers away. Washington is looking to beef up the number of drones manning the skies over the U.S. to tens of thousands by 2020. And all of that in the name of national security. Freedom and liberty are being lost in deference to a false sense of security. Who could feel safe with a drone watching them while they're in their backyard? I mean, they can watch everything we do all day long, all day long, all night long, and all the next day. And then... You might as well live in Havana. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> you will never see it coming. You think I'm joking? Not filter it out. It is in you. You are listening. Like when the voice inside your head says something, you are listening. It's it's not even a choice because it's it's inside, right? And it's it's kind of trippy <laughs> uh, to, to even think about. The it. bigger you, you are build listening. the bonfire about the you are ending, listening. <laughs> how can it's I put it? Trippy. The bigger you build the bonfire of understanding, the more darkness is revealed to your startled eyes. We cannot evolve beyond the confines of our language. How can I put it? If you have a language that makes telepathy impossible, then telepathy will be impossible. There is no closure. You see, we all pay lip service to the idea that, that language and culture create each other. And we actually act as though culture is real. Uh, there is no 